<laughs> All right. Oh, wait. We have the tools. We have the technology. Boop. Because, you know, just having 30 seconds of a countdown is good enough, isn't it? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. This is what I get for not using a BS. See how this works. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hail open sorcerers. Words and stuff and things. Let's see. I'm trying new technology, so, you know, live, baby. Do it live. Hey, hey. Don't believe I have sound. Can you hear me? Guess I could use drop on myself if I wanted to. Okay. I eavesdropped. It succeeded. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Hi, I'm not a streamer, but streaming is the new hotness, so what are you going to do? How are you doing? So I realized that this video is kind of about like Linux games in 2022, but then I made a post about my favorite ever game that I sing the praises of. Yeah, thanks for that. Um, and it's Grim Fandango. And then it made me nostalgic about LucasArts. So I really want to show you my favorite game of all time. But first I thought we'd kick it off with some um, over at our Discord. Feel free to check it out. It is Geek Beacon. If you guys don't know, if you if YouTube or the, the internets don't notify you of any of my videos... It's totally reasonable and most likely true. <laughs> uh, then you don't know that I spun off a community called Geek Beacon and now it's a discord with 6,500 of us. So 6,500 of us being nerdy together and um, hopefully you guys will be able to play Jackbox with us. I got the most recent Jackbox pack. So I, though I do not want to play the most cutting edge Linux games, that will be for another video. I do want to play some Jackbox with you all. Um, and I actually am sitting in the Discord right now, just hanging out um, for when we do transition to that. So I thought it'd be fun to actually um, showcase one of the events that we did where I had a surprise build where uh, some of our community members made Minecraft of uh, like con constructions, I guess you could say, because like I don't actually know what they are yet because I will be going into this blind with you. <clears throat> I'm so excited. My voice is cracking. So yeah. Um, one of the things that we did is we spun up a really quick uh, Minecraft instance. Uh, thanks to Linode. <laughs> and um, we actually made the Linode L. So you'll see if you can check that out. I would love to know how many people use Linode in their services because they make it extra easy. So yeah, I thought um, it'd be cool for us to look at the Minecraft builds together and react for like a couple minutes and then go into some other um, festivities. Yes. Hi, everybody. All right. You down? How many of you play Minecraft? Yeah, it, it's crazy to see how many streams are crossing right now. It's like, I, all the chats. I miss the window where it was like, oh, hey, you're a YouTube partner and Twitch a few years back was like, hey, why don't you do a one click Twitch partnership? And I was like, eh, I'll get around to it. And actually, funnily enough, I watched 
um, I did a Grim Fandango stream was one of my very first videos, like, I don't know, 10 years ago is when Twitch was a thing. And so I didn't opt in to that. And so now they're basically like, if you stream on Twitch, that means you can't stream on YouTube. And I'm just like, I'm not going to do that. So we figured out a way to make all the streams connect. <laughs> and that's how we're doing it. Minecraft is your guilty pleasure. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So without further ado, let's react to some Minecraft builds. You guys are going to laugh at me, though, because I am not at all proficient in Minecrafty goodness. Hello, hello, hey Zaku. Okay. Yeah, and Holler, Holler's actually one of the, and they actually break down their builds and explain some of their builds. So let's, let's check it out, shall we? Pretty excited. Yeah, for those of you who have asked, it's like, oh, I thought this channel was dead. That's very, an interesting point. Um, I'm sure you've heard this through a lot of other creators, but YouTube is deciding not to show many, many um, videos. So it's not um, just me. It's it's basically an issue that is, they decided to turn on the notification bell issue. Like they basically put this notification bell initially way back when you were able to see all of the videos for the people that you subscribe to. And now they threw a notification bell on there and just creators overnight that were able to sustain a living on YouTube now lo no longer can, um, myself being one of them, <laughs> you know, and, um, yeah. So basically with the, with the change of the notification bell, n all of a sudden I actually have a notif I actually have a page that says your videos are being displayed to only 1% of your subscribers. So if you are the lucky 1%, yay. <laughs> No 1% jokes, please. Um, I would love it if you did turn that bell on, though, if for some reason you found this throughout that or without that. Anyway, Minecrafty goodness. Let's do this thing. That's the explanation on that. Do -do. Cool. Here we go. I can't hear it. Is the music? Oh no! Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, okay, cool. There's music, just checking. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, see the Linode L. Look how beautiful it is. Hello, this is Bermain. Hello. My bill for the Minecraft Bill Contest uh, is kind of related to Attack on Titan. I kind of wanted to make a, a guy, a giant, essentially breaking out of the ground. Um, okay, wait a second. That's fantastic. And I love how I can't watch any Attack on Titan stuff. Oh, I just realized I should do this so it flips me. <laughs> I can't watch any Attack on Titan. If For those of you who don't know, if you saw that. Look how, um, I don't know if I can go back very well, but um, Attack on Titan is terrifying. Hey, hello, this is Remain. Am I build for the minecraft build contest uh, oh my god to, uh, attack on titan i can't that is so cool you should be afraid be very afraid ground, and then breaking through a wall into a city or like a fence originally i wanted to make him laying down on the ground which i thought was kind of a weird but so i went with just <laughs> half of his body coming out of the ground looking like he's breaking through the city so that, that's pretty much my, my build so thank you Wow, that seriously, it, it's like Attack on Titan Minecraft edition, um, fully allowable to be seen by children. That is epic. <laughs> Yay, thanks for me. And he is possibly in the Discord right now as well. <laughs> All right, Holler. Oh my gosh, that looks like a, like a multi-layer cake. Let's see what Holler has to say. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Let's do this thing. Oh, I don't hear any audio to this. I feel like there should be, though. No? Do you guys hear it? 
it's contest. yeah it's so it's pretty though to, uh, attack on titan i kind of wanted to make it a guy <laughs> a giant essentially breaking out of the ground i like how he's ha he's happy though into a city or like a fence originally i wanted to make him laying down on the ground which i thought was kind of a weird yeah so I went we'll watch this again because i on the ground looking like he's breaking through the city so that, that's pretty much my, my bill hey you guys he's like the leroy jenkins of attack on titan-esque wow that is really gorgeous even though like there's no explanation of it oh see this could be the beacon i don't know oh this is awesome yeah it is a cool build exactly yeah oh that was so quick they should they should have some um some actual explanations but whatever let's just react to it as it is oh no here we go we're doing it live okay fair enough oh uh, right. shame right. holler oops is less of a build well that was so quick you guys okay hang on what was that one that was sage okay fair enough yay hey everybody okay what is this one okay i mean if you blink you miss it Sage built a, I think that that three layer cake one that was like green and ha it almost looked Geek right. Beacon-esque. So my build is less of a build, more of a kind of burrow. Uh, <laughs> I went into... Oh no. It sounds awesome and then it froze. Ah. Is this what live streamers have to deal with all the time? Let's say that. <laughs> I can't do it, right. Captain. So my build okay. is less of a build, more of a kind of burrow. Uh, <laughs> I went into this little cavern and used some lava that was already there to kind of mm -hmm. make a hidden entrance down to this sort of uh, this underground oh. library nook area. Ooh. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Really We're all, all over the place. I just kind of. We're all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I want that. I also don't ever have plans, as you guys know. That is pretty rad. Can you guys see that? It's a little dark, but... Um, wow, that is epic. The green flames in a library nook. I would. I definitely want one of these in my, in my house. Uh, I finally got a point where I have more than one room in my house, so Do that's I good. I tried to make it like, <laughs> cozy, and I had like... You know, torches and vines and all that Same. Jazz for aesthetic purposes, as you do. It was it was fun. Got to climb the ladder of, you know, of the library neck. All right, Tyler has a really cool um, community on Discord that we partner with called um, Linux Cafe, and it looks like I see a llama. Look at that! How cuties! I can't see in the bottom right. Aw, they're so cute. Quest crafts. Can't wait until crest, quest craft. Oh my gosh, say that five times fast. Being able to play in VR and having VR servers. I would agree, except I think I would... How many people out there actually get motion sick? I actually get motion sick, so it needs to be so cutting edge that I don't even... I can't even perceive the difference between virtual and real reality in order for me to actually... yeah. All that those polygons would probably get me going like, oh, look at it's the farm. They're so cute. Whoa. Oh, I love the little boats. So you like boat on down the way there. That's so cool. I did ask you guys. Um, oh, there should be. I believe there's like a voiceover. I mean, we all know what this is. But perhaps there should be voiceover in this. Oh, yeah. The bottom right is where I'm in the screen. Okay, who knows what this is? There was a little spoiler. Spoiler, sweetie, on the bottom right, but... Yeah. I won't show that again, but who knows what this is. This is awesome. You didn't see the llama? Oh, that's so sad. You'll have to go back and watch it. What? Excellent. Good job, Graham. The TARDIS. That is that is the thing. It is bigger on the inside. 
I want to ask Bramain if there was supposed to be some voiceover explanations. There was a good amount of submissions, so look at how detailed that is and with the hearts and everything. That's so cute. Yeah, for those of you who don't know what the TARDIS is, it's essentially a police box from the UK. Um, and it's, yeah, uh, you got to do the Doctor Who thing. That is very true. Is it bigger on the inside? That's one of the things that um, the doctor would say as reassurance. Like, it's bigger on the inside. I think I've used that as a pickup line. And then I'm like, that's, no, no, it's, that doesn't work. <laughs> I was going to build until I started just placing blocks around. And when I put a uh, wither skull on. Blocks around. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. In the armor stand, I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a church of the wither. And so I did, and I decided at the end that I was just going to make a giant wither. Whoa. Geo outside. All right, so a giant my build wither was statue. initially going to be a castle that's half underwater, but it that was didn't awesome. end up really working out due to time constraints, mostly. <laughs> a castle underwater with lava blocks that are submerged. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. If Hollywood makes a Doctor Who movie, I want Johnny Depp to play the Doctor. Considering he's played like, yeah, who's your favorite Doctor? Oh, God, let's let's sound off in the comments below who the favorite Doctor is. Oh, geez. I mean, David Tennant forever. And that, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, Bill ended up being just the lower half essentially and the block pattern was chosen eh, essentially randomly however the glowstone is pretty nice because it allows you to see underwater even if you don't have some sort of other lighting oh yes Yay! That was awesome! Oh, but people don't like the Lady Doctor. No, that was really cool. If you, For those of you who didn't see the llama, though, we need to go back. Because uh, they do, they did do, oh, that is so pretty. It's like the multi-layer cake of awesome Minecraft proportions. Entrance down to this sort of See if I can find it real quick. It was, it was it's not easy to scrub through this video, you guys. Oops. Um, but after that, then I'm going to try to, oh, uh, 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 you see him in the corner? They're kind of blurry. Let's see if I can like zoom in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in that little corner, they look kind of like pigs, but they're actually alpacas. Okay, it's going to give a nice close up of the alpaca that is avoiding everybody else. That's one thing that we had for our server is we had we made sure to have. Um, oh, and oh, there's an aquarium. I didn't notice that before. No, that's rad. So they're in the bottom right. Yeah, we made sure to have alpacas in our Minecraft server. I think we had mine.geekbeacon.org for a while. Um, but yeah, very cool. Okie dokie. Minecraft and not my test. That is a very good question. Um, yeah, I think we, we tried for everything we've done, including we had a... Um, we had a open source conference. And we had to like... We always weigh... The practicality and how much effort something will take over, you know, the different types of solutions. Everybody has their own position on how much open source they want to be at the end of the day or how much, um, you know, they, they're comfortable with it. And, and that's one of the things we talked about. We had a crazy conference, if you guys hadn't checked it out, um, and we're starting a new one here in um, summer because it was so we had such an intense response to our open source conference for the first time that we decided that we were going to kick off another one. Um, let's see. I'm using a new tool. Don't don't fail me. Uh -huh. Also, my I've fixed it because my mouse had like a super crazy um high dpi and it took like forever for me to scroll from one side to another so it's just like i'm trying to figure that out as well all the technical difficulties in the world okay how did that work and yeah exactly 
Yeah, so we actually launched our summer summit. So we have an open source um, festival that we launched back. Um, if you to check out the previous event. Oh, yeah, a lot of you. Yep, that's true. A lot of you guys actually tuned into that. We had it for two days in February. And um, yeah, this is the wrap up video of it. I wonder if I can. Can you hear that? Oh, yeah, that's the. Yeah, so we just we had we had crazy speakers um, and awesome talent. It was absolutely fantastic. And we are going to do another brainstorming session next Thursday at ex around this time. So um, because we love the idea of you, you being able to come up with the ideas and the different content that we should see. So it was a complete community effort. Uh, and we worked really, really hard on it. So it, it was awesome that we were able to um, make it happen. Yeah, so we're going to um, roll one out for the summer. And if you want to be involved in it at all, we'd love to see you. Um, let's see if I can get back to the actual non-archive version of this <laughs> to show you the video wrap-up. That would be fun. Um, and then I'll get to playing a game because that was what the original, that was what it was all about. I'm writing this comment from a new Ubuntu distro. I love Linux. Yeah, Pedro, there you go. I love Linux too. I just love a lot of other things. And so how I grew the channel was initially through Linux. And then um, I ended up, it, it ended up getting so big that I like had to spin off my Nixie does Linux channel, which you guys are on. Let's see here. Uh, mm, I don't actually think I have it, but you know what? We can still make it work. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is... This is our wrap up. So check this out. Can you hear this? Oh, it says I'm live now. Yeah, this is all the stuff that happened at the Geek Beacon conference. Oh, it didn't, it's not screen sharing it. <laughs> oh, God. It's so weird to have someone who's traditionally in YouTubing, like, trying to do streams because, like, you really have to abandon all forms of perfectionism. <laughs> but I don't want to, you guys. Okay, ready? And now we do. I see, I hear people joining the Discord for the Jackbox here. I don't want to just play Jackbox now, but here you go. Check it out. We work so hard for this. Mm -hmm. And I'm Dr. Anthony Bean from Geek Therapeutics. And thanks, guys, for tuning in for this year's Geek Beacon Festival in support of the Able Gamers Charity. Geek Beacon's mission is to create opportunities for techies and gamers and people with disabilities and neurodiversities. Helping brands protect their trademarks and copyrights online. Thalia also litigates cutting edge cases, including online defamation, sexting, and cyberbullying. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Savior. How's hosts it going? are absolutely oh, right. you're, amazing. You're officially coming to introduce me <laughs> every presentation I give from now on. Uh, it's a great quote. If you're not willing to learn, then no one can help yeah. you. And if you are determined to learn, then no one can stop you. I kind of went from being fully sighted to, to, to being blind very quickly. And, and one of the things I really missed was gaming. As I, I love my Xbox and my PlayStation. And, all of a sudden that became something I couldn't use anymore. And and then all of a sudden I discovered a genre of games called audio games. A public good uh, could be... So that was a um, developer, an entirely um, blind developer uh, house, essentially, that made games for... Uh, made audio-based games. We hope. Clean air. If I'm using it, if I'm breathing the clean air, you can also be breathing the clean air, and it's not diminishing its use, and it can't really. Be I'm booting up my game right now. Only one of us to have clean air. My name is Dom Esposito, and welcome to Save a Spoon. And this is all about setting healthy boundaries. The unit of measurement is uh, a spoon. 
used to quantify mental energy that any person has for activities during a time period, a day or a week, where X activity costs Y number of spoons. But when your spoons are depleted, there is this inability to complete the other tasks that are needed mm -hmm. to be accomplished. This is only replenished by rest. My name is Brian, and this presentation is Reframing Accessibility in Gaming. Um, it's about how, despite the fact that we are, you know, games are more accessible than ever, we still have a long way to go. Yeah, that's true. Mark Watson, known as Soldier Knows Best, I can't he believe he video joined us. Con uh, covering consumer electronics, there, I just cell posted phones, the link. To drones, to robotic vacuum cleaners. Fast forward a few years later, he turned his hobby into a community of over one million uh, users across social media. Accounts. Anyway, that's <laughs> with perfect. Johnny Wu, um, is the Namer community manager at Get out of here. Okay, that's not why we're here. I'm tangenting, but I did drop a link for you guys to save um, the community brainstorm on Thursday because I would love for you guys to be to help shape the next GBF. I think that would be so fun. So without further ado, I am booting up all my things. Yeah. What do you guys think? It's not displaying comments anymore. Wah, wah, wah. But yeah. The Thursday's event, I think I just posted a YouTube link. Who knows where it'll actually go out to, but that's um, where you guys can save the... Does Twitch let you save events to s subscribe to anymore? I don't... I don't... I feel like not. Um, well, there's so many people here. If you guys want to play some Jackbox, we can just play some Jackbox because that technically is a 2020... End of 2021-ish game, and that would actually be in line with... Um, Though people did vote on wanting to be a part of a story game. So I, I put a um, I put a poll up there like, what type of game are you interested in? So I think one of them was like story based and um, but party party is always a really good one. And that's Jackbox over on our discord. Um, you basically you start off with Jackbox.tv. Um, and I think I can do it seems like people are in the discord waiting to play jackbox so that's cool <laughs> uh yeah let's see here i'm gonna unmute over on my discord and see if people want to play and if you guys want to come over it's the listen only discord i think oh we haven't even started the event oh yeah we did so when you jump over into the discord you can press go to channel and i think we can start um the Jackboxy goodness. I've never actually sc screen shared Jackbox on my own, so I'll have to see. But everybody, it, it's it doesn't matter what platform it is. You you can do it. You can play. Oh, weird. Yeah, the comments are kind of broken. Oh yeah. Hi Nixie, glad to see you back and healthy. I'm so glad you managed to overcome your health issues. Yeah. Um. I haven't, <laughs> but it's something that I'm going to constantly deal with. And it's really interesting seeing coming up from like, just basically seeing how the evolution of everybody being online and just how prevalent it is. It's, it's really great to see um, just the space blow up. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. There won't be a delay because we'll screen share the the game on Discord as well. I think. Yeah. Oh, this is a good question. I'm sure you've been over this before, but do you think the Steam Deck will have a positive impact on the rest of Linux gaming? Pretty much all I have on Linux is Factorio. Um, there's always been this age old debate on the console versus PC wars. <laughs> so I think that the more, and I, I don't, I think they're always going to be amalgamation of, of both. And I think that the Vox Populi, the mass majority of people that will be playing games will just be accidentally playing on Linux and not even realizing it. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't think you'll have as many in Linux enthusiasts per se, as you'll have people that just casually run Linux, like the 73% or something of the market share that run Android right now. Um, yeah, that's pretty much 
how I feel about that. Uh, all right, let's go. Since there are a lot of people in the Discord, let's just um, I'm gonna unmute and tell. Oh, hello. So there's some people that have joined the Discord, and you guys joined and muted. So that's kind of how we do it. Sometimes you know we had 30 people in here, and they'll be like <laughs> all talking at once. So if you want, we can try to play some Jackbox right now. I just uh, I've never personally screen shared it. I don't know if we can screen share how we do it. You know what I mean, Jellybee? Um. Do 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 Alrighty. Nine minutes. Okay. Just played a couple hours of Metro Exodus on Arch. Runs flawlessly. Awesome. Come on down. Let's play some Jackbox. Let's see if my laptop chokes. <laughs> Thanks for answering. Yeah, no problem, Brodo Cowboy. We get this. The only weird thing about like having a multi-stream setup is that I can't see like the notifications of people following. Which I think is okay. I'm just not going to be... Like, I'm a YouTuber. I'm not going to be those people that just kind of, like, come in and... Beer, beer, beer. I tried. Some of the streams, if you look at my Twitch, you'll see. I tried doing a lot of callouts. And it's fun. But it doesn't address, like, my entire community. So. All right. Um, I think the person who is asking that question has access to the Discord. But I have... No clue because I am not managing the Discord anymore. Thank God. Okay, how do I do the thing? Do 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 do. Boop. I gotta put in my password. I'm really torn between wanting to play some Jackbox and wanting to play some Grim Fandango. <laughs> Because I know you guys voted for a Steam game, so... Or a Steam game, a uh, story game. And I would love to know if you guys have any recommendations. But the only good story games that I can think of are really kind of old. <laughs> They're really just kind of old. Okay. Like a fine wine. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to attempt to screen share. Now, I can be completely serious in that the title of this 2022 Linux games thing is totally... Oh, apparently I have to request access for it. What? Oh, for God's sakes. There's a way that you can share Steam libraries and it's like it never just works easily. <laughs> have you guys tried that feature? Sharing libraries with other people? Okay. Lucky ducky. Let's see how this works, you guys. Keep your fingers crossed. Uh, I usually use OBS, but I haven't found a way to like OBS multi stream where I can see all the comments at once. But I'm sure that's a thing that I could do when I don't just have a laptop. Ooh, this is a creepy music in the background. Oh, I hate this sound, but here you go, you guys. Ugh. I don't know what it is. I don't like the sound of uh, of dripping water. <laughs> Not okay with it. It's triggering. Yeah, come on down. We're going to play some murder party trivia. So that for those of you who don't know, all you need literally is just your phone. Um, we can start with murder party trivia. If if and if people want to talk, I don't know if they want to be like unmuted. I can't tell if people are going to be playing or what. Um, but if you want to be unmuted, perhaps. Um, ah, I'm gonna have to press a button because I can't handle that sound. <laughs> yeah, check out Murder Part. You can hear it okay and everything. Oh no, I need to actually put it. You guys are like, what sound? Okay. Whoops. 
Yeah, the game should also support sharing, that's true. Wow. <laughs> this sounds this sounds fantastic. Let's do this. Okay. I think I actually have to hide it for if there's gonna be a, a room code. People cheat in murder party trivia? Well, people probably cheat, but at the same time, meh. Here, I have to hide the room key, though, for the people that are in the... In the Discord, I'll tell them the room key. And then I'll know that I can unmute them. Dun -dun. But then if you guys want to play in the audience, obviously subtitles, extended timer... Uh, yeah, extended timers. Eh, let's just do it normal. And you guys can vote in the audience, of course. Hang on, I'm pulling it off of, uh, like, hide the room key. I don't know how to hide the room key. Hmm. Yeah, anybody can play this together. That's weird. Maybe I can just press a button to hide it. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I can press a button to hide it. They're so good at this. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, I had to switch over to my other computer last minute. Yeah. It's not ideal. And it's easy. It's e yeah. I didn't want to not stream because I couldn't get my Linux set up to work. <laughs> but everybody can actually play this on Linux. You just go on, um, yeah, jackbox.tv. Should actually. It says 20 frames a second. Hang on one second. Let me try this. <laughs> the Windows KDE theme looks convincing. <laughs> I just explained myself. Okay, hang on one second. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to not do it just because I couldn't get my setup to work. Not main. But I also wanted to make sure everybody else could play it. Oh. Don't make me rage quit. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those super cool. Hang on a second. I am trying to now add some more facts. Should just add the full screen. It's the whole window, the entire screen, the whole window. There we go. Perfect. I think. They definitely need to improve on their... Oh, you can't put... Okay, I gotcha. System audio, the window. How about that? Can you still hear the music there? Da -da 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 -da. Audience and non-players can join. Yep. Oh, <laughs> yep. That's how I feel. I love that. That um, that's how it posts the doggy. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Okay, there we go. I will hide the room code and I will say it verbally. Okay, V L R O V L R O. Okay, whoops. I don't know why it's lagging. We usually just play this in Discord. I usually don't play it anywhere else. Okay, okay. See how this works. What if we just have as many people join it as possible? That's cool too. <laughs> Oops. Can you guys hear the music and everything? So it's basically you go to jackbox.tv. Here, I'll unhide it and we'll see. <laughs> I 
Ah, uh, boom. I'm in there. We in this. Yeah, and then the comments are broken too. That's fun. Yep, everything broke, right? People can join in the audience. There we go. Bill Gates followed me. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, that's a good point. I can't tell if anybody wants to be unmuted to actually talk, but feel free to let me know. Okay, we got two more people. Whatever, I think it's not going to be the end of the world. Let's have the code out there. <laughs> oh! I post, I said the room code. But you can also join the audience. There we go. There, I'll just display the room code. Oh, you're not healing, hearing music at all? Oh no, I didn't start it. Uh-oh, we just started it. So you can't hear anything? Okay, hang on. Mm. Uh, I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. Oh. It was there? Okay, there we go. This is your wake up call, prepare to die. Okay. Say. Oh, poor TripAdvisor. Can you hear? You you use it on your phone. Super tux. Uh oh. Oh yes, this is how smart are we all collectively as a group? <laughs> do, 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 do. You guys can just let me know who you are, and I can unmute you in Discord if you're playing along. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> One person? <laughs> we get to... Oops. Hey, hey. Uh-oh. Doesn't seem like it shows that there's music that I can turn up and down. Oh God, this is the worst part. Uh, so you don't have to write them in order, right? Oh God. Uh, why? <laughs> Oh no, how do I submit? Oh God. One wagered? Ah, oh, yes, okay. Oh no, we got an F. Yeah, just write as many words as you can. Can you actually hear it, Bermain? Or is it not working out? Uh. <laughs> the sound is weak. Oh, bummer. Hello, hello. Yeah, none of the comments are displaying. It's uh oh. I feel like we should know the answer to this. Uh, oh. Nope, that was way too, that was way too soon. But we love, I love me some John Stewart. Yeah, currently I, I'm in between computers, but I didn't want to reschedule it. So that's that on that. That's that on that. 
Ah, uh, good job. You can vote in the audience. Hello, hello. Yeah, I don't know how to fix it. Aloysius's. <laughs> allo, allo. Yeah, me too. Uh, please don't kill me. I think I might go back to Grim Fandango after this, since I'm catching a lot of flack. But you're able to hear the. G you're able to hear him speak. Uh, don't kill us. I won't. Ta I'm totally in the top right, so don't kill me. <laughs> Ungod. Ooh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I totally fooled you. Oh, you can't hear the game audio. No. Okay. All right. Judge me. I'm gonna post. I'm g judge me, judge me. Ready? Because as soon as I do this, all people are gonna say is that it's on Windows, and it's gonna be lame. But here you go. Yep. Now you have the game audio, but it's on Windows. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Which musical features nicely, nicely? <laughs> How about that? You can hear it now, right? Okay. Oh no. That's a person's name? Nicely, nicely? What? Uh, oh, I did it wrong. I could just tell. Almost out of time. Yay. Yeah, for those of you coming into the Discord, you come in muted. No audio, so there's audio now, though. Yep. Oh no, so what happens, yeah, for those of you who've never played this before, it's on all platforms, and including your phone. But I only have two phone numbers. Dial one of these numbers ah. on the rotary phone before anyone else. <laughs> Old school. I thought about including an area code or an area uh, code, but we don't no, no. Okay. Do I have to, like... Jeez, this really, like, shows people how... Oh, why did I do that one? That's the longest one. No, 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 no. Did I do it? <gasps> there! Yes! <laughs> there you go. There, now you can hear it. Perfect. Should be able to hear the sign. Sorry, Bill Gates! You're too slow! We'll try this again next time with uh, with OBS and Linux and everything like that. It's all good, man. Oh, I'm sorry, Flint. Yeah, it is creepified yet adorable. That is so true. It's on all the platforms. You, you just go to jackbox.tv and type in the code on your phone or on your browser. Yeah. Oh, here. For real, though, what's an octopus? Uh, that's so true. We don't know how to dial rotary phones. Oopsie. Uh, oh, I think I know this. <sighs> See, I told you people are gonna flame me about it. Yes. Nope, it's just all in your head. It's not it's not Windows. It's just the a skin for Windows on Linux. Do 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 got it wrong. Lucky guesses. I'm gonna, I think after this game I'm gonna go to um Grim Fandango since people get are getting salty. <laughs> Phrases used to describe a downturn period of declining stock prices. 
Uh. <laughs> a pig market. That's great. Mm. Uh. Time's almost up. Do do do. Who picked this? Uh huh. I want to show you something. Woo, we're still alive. Save yourself with the password. Enter a real four letter word with your device. Don't make it easy. Uh, a real four letter word. One, two. Oh, no, that's not a four letter word. Oh, God. Okay, hurry. <laughs> Make a what? I did make a password. What? For you. And I'm putting your password in the closed captioning. So if you have it turned on, everyone will see it. You're everyone evil. See the You're evil. You guess either password on your device. You get a clue if your guess has a letter in the right spot. Oh my god, you're evil. For every password you correctly guess in time. <laughs> I hope nobody figured that out. This it does sound like Quan Chi. Alrighty. The puppet that kills people. <laughs> no. What? Really? Nobody guessed it? They exposed my password and everything. You guys are so nice. Passwordle. Yeah, well, this is a deal with Wordle. I thought everyone was good at hacking passwords. Woo! I'm alive! I'm still alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Let's keep moving. Okay. In the movie Elf, what does Buddy say are the four major food groups for elves? <laughs> Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? Oh, ma'am. Candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup. Sweet things, sour things, crunchy things, and soft things. Ooh, I feel like one of them is more related to, I don't know. Take that. There you go. Perfect, Pista. Now you get it. <laughs> this one should be easy. Dun dun dun. As you can before time runs out. Everyone else is playing too. If oh. If I correctly follow more rules than you, I will kill you. Go. Everyone can be a part of this, by the way. Jackbox.tv VLRO. Oh God. So the rules are like. Don't tap an even number. And then if you do it wrong, you're frozen. Oh! Okay, I'm horrible at this. Uh... Ooh, ooh, ooh! Come on, man! Oh, no! I remember. You tried so hard to follow the rules, which was, like, super cute, but it just wasn't enough. It was like super cute. Hey, I see. What's up? Oh wow. Yeah, we're about to play some. Uh, maybe half an hour of. Cause I don't think people know how to do the unmuting thing in Discord, so I think we'll just try that another day. Cause we do this all the time, you guys. But can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. Oh, this is crazy. This is a crazy one. Gymnastics moves. Tap each answer that fits the category. I am. Submit. 
Epic at gymnastic move understandings. I'm the only one alive! How is it possible? Let's see the right answers. Oh! <laughs> Sheer luck. Sheer luck. Oh, that's awesome. The ghosts are following me. They will steal your life force. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. I just want to party all the time, party all the time. Try to distract you. Uh. Jerkin, 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 derma, derma. Oh, I'm trying to distract you, but I had no idea how. <laughs> Ooh, Kung Pao Chicken! Oh god, you guys, you even have extra chances to win? That's not fair. That is not fair. Take it easy, chicken! Chicken good! I don't think the audience knows they can play this part. <laughs> uh... <sighs> Ew. Technically, hello, hello. Woohoo! Trolling. Why are you trolling? It's only darkness. How am I alive? How? Tools. How? Uh, what the? I don't know what any of this is! <laughs> no! Party all the time. I should... I just like to murder party, murder party, trivia. <laughs> uh... No? Yes? No? You guys... That's not a real... Oh, of course it is. Entertaining Christmas does not even sound like a actual movie title. Like, not even a little bit. Bacterium. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Oh, uh, I should know this. I should know this. It's totally a golden retriever. <laughs> what? I knew it wasn't a gold retriever. It didn't give me the right one. No, you never trolling. Okay. Oh, oh. Time is almost up. No, I, I just realized collectively together as a group, we're not, we are not trivia people. Wait, Bill Gates, don't steal me. Don't steal my life. My life is about to get taken by Bill Gates while using a, a virtual machine of Windows on Linux. Dun dun dun! Oh god, monogamous. Uh, beavers seem like they love. Oh no, Bill Gates! No! <laughs> Don't look back because there's a ghost right there. <laughs> Why? Oh god. Help. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I bombed it. No, I didn't. Paul! Here. At least it wasn't Bill Gates. <laughs> oh. Oh. I feel like that's creepy enough where it has to be it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Beat Paul. No! <laughs> if Bill Gates wins this on the Linux stream, on my Linux channel, running a Windows VM, it's not even giving me an option. No, Bill Gates. <laughs> so that didn't work out really well. <laughs> so
so basically, what just happened was everybody, literally everybody died. Welcome back. No, no, no. Oh, it's going to try it. Try us again. Perfect. Yes, I really want you to help too. Wait, already? Wait, no. Oh, jeez, this is bad. I think we should I think we should play a different one. What do you guys think? Or scared. The correct answer is who got the question right? Oh, one hour and twenty minutes. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's yep, time. and then they bring us to the killing room, and it, well, it's all super not copacetic. It's the pegs game. Yay! That's I love how they take all these cute games and then. And try to avoid the death zones. <laughs> okay. Easy, right? Let the games begin. Okay. See, but watch this. It's it has no basis in reality. Look. I'm gonna choose it to drop there. Pick a spot. And then you'll see it drop. It's just gonna go crazy. <gasps> oh! Oh! What? Down. Yes! Okay. I'm fine with this. Land in a slot or else. Don't blame me. Blame gravity. Gravity. Yeah, we should. Are these questions from the leisure suit Larry age check? It's <laughs> a very good point. Yes, anybody can play. There's five in the audience right now. Jackbox.tv, V-L-R-O, and we're playing some trivia right now. Um, I still really want to show you Grim Fandango, but it's not. Um, I know you're asking about more specific Linux games, so I want to actually show you that. Um, here we go. Boop. Uh, international border runs across the peak of Mount Everest. Uh, so we'll play one more of these, and then we'll just, and then we'll play some Grim Fandango. But it'll be good times. Also, thanks, um, Seek. I don't know if you're still here about talking about Geeks Abroad. We're about to, we're going to drop the next one, um, next week over on my other channel. Oh! The comments over my face. Hell! You each get $500. Hey guys. Thank you. $500. Okay, I'm done. The person who ends up with the most money will die. But if you give to someone uh, $800 or more, I will kill you instead. But, Begin. Uh, mm, I don't know. We want to be generous to Bill Gates because... <laughs> Uh. Okay, we're donating. We're donating. I don't know. Now let's follow the money. I can't unmute people in Discord, but I'm about to switch over to Grim Fandango, and we we play this all the time. Jackbox every single week, and I just died. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Seven people in the audience. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, um... For those of you wondering, I am live. So if you're in Discord, you can right-click on my name and follow along with the stream so you can actually play along too. <laughs> what sick twisted woman named her best friend Lamb Chop? It's the song that doesn't end. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Yeah. We know. Time's running out. 
Oh yeah, YouTube is a bit behind. I should. Oh, see, I knew, I knew it was her. I just, I'm suck with names so much. It's ridiculous. I guess if if YouTube is behind, I will make sure to change the latency because I have it for like quality. I think. Yeah, bring out them chalices. No problem. This is what it looks like. So if you're part of the audience, you can poison us. Gotta love it. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, Pick a already. I mean, I feel like one is very, like, it's begging to be poisoned. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. Poison does what poison does. If we so interact with you. A poison chalice. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Bill Gates, the best person ever. It's hard to interact with the audience tab because if we watch the stream, we don't get to see the questions or the interactions. No, if you watch the stream, those are the questions. Good job, you guys. If I could figure out how to get to the chat overlay to work, I could just publish that, but it ain't working. It ain't working. I don't know why. We're here. It's probably because there were like 90 people. Next question. Ooh, good stuff. I just feel like it's like, how much of an epic fail are you at being book smart? I feel like I should know this. Yeah, I tried to push- oh, really? So I can put the chat overlay and then it'll just eventually show up? Only a ghost got it wrong? <laughs> that was probably my fault. Because I'm like, oh, look at that! It stretches out in Twitch chat so it doesn't look right. I'm just gonna try all the things and see if it looks better there. There is no right answer. That is a good point. Oh god, your morality, your- is it your- mm. Nope, I already regret my decision. I know what it is. Ah, oh, god, it is freaking super ego. That was so not the right answer, correct? There is no spoon! Yeah, I'm trying to test out different things. Oh, hey, look! The ghost of my Aunt Mildred is riding on this mirror. She has her own consistent- There we go. How about that? Is that good? Mildred is going to write a different word. But so will everyone else. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. Okay. Start writing on that mirror. What is a good word that... Hmm. And try to spot my auntie. So they have to choose what one it looks like it's... From... A... Dirty cat underwear aunt. <laughs> the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. Ooh. No. You have to pick, I guess, Aunt Mildred's... Aunt Mildred, please stand up. Oosh. Uh... Aunt Mildred would, like, never say that. It's time for you <laughs> to join my Aunt Mildred. Yay, everyone's dead. Now what do we do? Wow. Limbo is a good game. A good Linux game as well. Whoa, you all died too easy, but I still need someone alive, so it's he what? Story, but you had the most money. You just died. You don't deserve to go back to life. I know, right? I'm a kitty cat, and I meow meow meow, and I meow meow meow. 
We're playing on a Windows VM in Linux. Uh, mathematics. Okay, this is the last one, and then everybody loves cats. Oh, that's cute. Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. Okay. Need to make it so you can actually see what's happening. Probably. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Uh... I feel like little brown bats is like a red herring. Shit. <laughs> Never mind. But I'm already dead, so this is very low pressure. Thanks, Keith. We got the lemurs. Victoria's Secret Bra Collection. Well, duh. <laughs> You're all wrong. Unless you wear bras. I don't judge. Ooh. Wait, what did you all vote for? The audience is made is a super adorable sock puppet down below. You guys can answer as well, you know. It's a, it's appearing on your phone. Bombshell exactly. Ooh. <gasps> no! Did I pick it or did it not give me credit? Okay. Phew. This is too hype. I wanted we need to go we need we need to go back to the chillness. Or there are nine people in the audience, which is epic. Ah, oh, easy. <laughs> go, go. I like how they threw one in there. Oh no, what? They put Billadama in there. Billadama from the good old Battlestar Galactica. Sometimes you gotta roll a hard six. Okay. Yeah, I don't know who's winning. I think Flint's winning. Yeah. Do do do. It's good to see all the familiar faces dying in front of me. You can actually, you can guess them in the comments, but you can also go to jackbox.tv slash VLRO. Uh-oh. Oh, that sounds wrong. A smooth head. Baseball pitch. Hmm. Yep. Adama is not Star Trek. Adama is Battlestar Galactica. Exactly. Yep. Damn, you guys in the audience are kicking butt. Make sure you vote, because if the audience wins, I don't know what happens. Oh, jeez. Nope, nope. Press the wrong button. Uh. Oh, you guys did great! I, I seriously don't know what will happen if the audience wins. Go, Flint, go. Oops. Go, Paul, go. Oh, that's easy. Right? The problem is these are such excellently crafted questions that it's just like, answer in the audience! Come on, audience! You got this! Oh no! F Flint! Coming from the li Oh, come on, audience! In your adorable multi-head sock puppeting. Books written in the first person. Uh, I messed it up. I are smart. Come on, audience. I want to see what it's like when an audience wins. No! 33%. Uh-huh. <gasps> audience, you're right on the edge. Uh... I mean, I hope it's not. Oh, it is! When. Yes! <laughs> Came in for the steal! Wow. Wow. How did I win this?
Oh. How do I win this? I just don't know. I don't know how I won that. That's crazy. That is craziness. Okay. I am going to switch over to a more chill game. Um, for those of you who are just curious about what we did in the shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> um, that's Jackbox TV. It's really cool for as a party game. We have all of the... All of them, essentially all of them, one through eight. Um, and Jackbox, you don't know Jack has been around since the days of old. So um, I am going to go grab a glass of water. And then we're going to change the pace a little bit because you guys voted for a story game that you can play on Linux. So to be cognizant, cognizant of that, um, we will play that for a couple, like, a, I would say maybe half an hour, and then I am going to a Linux user group in live and in the flesh, which is crazy because I haven't done anything like in person in a really, really long time. But if I don't go to this one, I don't think the next one's going to be for another year. <laughs> so that's not going to work out. I've been going to, do you guys go to Linux user groups and things like that um, virtually? I went to one of those actually recently and they were okay, but yeah, this one's going to be outside with real human interaction with, without latency and whatnot. So yeah. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to play uh, one, some people in the comments I've asked about geeks abroad. Um, I'm really, really lucky and excited for you guys to finally see that, that was when I went with my best ever friend. I dragged him to Europe to go see all of the geeky sites. Um, I'm just going to throw that trailer up and grab some water real quick and be right back. But please watch that. That's over on my other channel. Uh, it doesn't have the love that it deserves because of the YouTube algorithm. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can get a chance, but basically it's my Nixie vlogs channel. I have the Linux channel where I'm trying to keep everything Linuxy, and then I have the vlogs channel where I talk about travel and sustainable living and things like that. Um, yeah. Why can't YouTube let you combine channels anymore? Like, it, you'd think now that it's been however many years it's been that they'd be able to do that, right? <laughs> but no, unfortunately not. Yeah. I'm going to play this for you guys. I always get nervous playing it because it's literally been six years in the making. But here it is. Two minutes and 26 seconds and I will be back. Doo -doo -doo. See you soon. To the geek community at large, I have an invitation for you to be part of an epic adventure and tell you a story live. You see, you'll be the first ones to see it, actually. I've kept it a secret for six years. So let's go back to what, a, a few years back? A few years back, I wanted to try something different in my content creation journey, so I kicked off an absolutely massive project, and I poured my heart and my soul into it. I called it Geeks Abroad, where I traveled the world with my co-host and my best friend. For months, we worked hard filming us on location at geeky places like a Comic-Con in Italy. We presented on stage at a gaming expo in Switzerland. We danced with robots in China and watched an epic robot battle in Japan. Everything was amazing. There was only one problem. Nobody saw it. Until now. Thankfully, I admitted I needed help and asked for it. Hey, Riffle Brothers, would you accept this challenge? Hey brother, let's have some fun. <laughs> Equipment loadout!
Oh my gosh. That's so hype. <laughs> that is so hype. Oh, look, I came back with my handy dandy anxiety t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's such a great trailer. I think so too. It's so cool. This like the when I said Riffle Brothers, can you help us out? Basically, it was just he and I. Um I way overscoped it. I essentially, when we went traveling, I grabbed tons of cameras and a drone setup, and it was just like we went to all the geeky places ever. And that's when I finally got in touch. I took four. You look how sad we are. <laughs> when I got in touch with, um, you know, the Riffle Brothers with Riff and. Um, it took years essentially of looking for a, a proper editor. It was almost, yeah, there are two of them. Wait, is there actually two of them? Yeah, there are. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Well, the, I guess this will be the scene, right? So I can just do this. Boom, boom, baby. Put it up on the thing. Oh, it doesn't show me on there anymore. Oh yes, it does. Here we go. Needed help and asked for yeah. it. Hey, Riffle Italian Brothers, Comic Con. Accept this challenge? Yep, they're different people. <laughs> hey, brother, let's have some fun. Yep. Equipment loadout. Yes. <laughs> Look at that editing. That's so cool. Yep. Yeah, so that's over on my other other channel. Um so it's really weird because you like YouTube doesn't serve any of my stuff, so it's kind of like I've been on Instagram mostly. I've even tried to like hit up TikTok and do some TikTok stuff cuz I have short form video ideas cuz squirrel. Yeah, they are they are pros. Okay. Let's all go to the lobby. I, I noticed some people are in Discord. Um, it's adorable. <laughs> I don't think we're going to play any more Jackbox because people got too triggered by the um, the Windows look. <laughs> the bearded guy we see everywhere. That is a good question. Um, that is one of my best friends ever. And you're going to see another non-bearded guy who um, basically they're combined. They've known me for like 20 years. <laughs> Same weekend. We used to have comic con in Paris games week before COVID. Yeah. Um, I can't imagine what that's like. I miss conferences. Do you guys go to conferences? Oh, that's so nice. Well, it's weird because like I, I talk about user privacy now. So like I enjoy Linux a lot, a lot, but not to a point where I put it in my, you know, daily practice as much as I did when I initially got the traction in order to build this, this community. Um, so that's why I did the geek beacon spinoff because we just have so much stuff going on. You guys, like we have an open source conference that we're, we already did had, like 300,000 uh, impressions. And it was really, really cool for our first uh, conference. And yeah, so that's why we're streaming on everything. Um, and we're just using all of the tools. Right now, More, I'm more into user privacy, digital, civil li liberties. And like, if you guys had been following my career, I um, helped found a, a decentralized gaming platform. Uh, we're no longer doing anything anymore, but uh, that took up a lot of like, if you guys have ever been a part of a startup, you know darn well that it takes up a lot of your time. So let's close out this fun little um, extravaganza with a little bit of my favorite ever game. You can play it on Linux. It's been around forever. It's an oldie but a goodie. Yes, I can't wait for the DBF summer. We have a, um, on, on my community post, I think we have a, um, okay, Google. Thank you. It's warning me that I have to go to the Linux user group. Yeah. 
It's nice to see you guys too. You're awesome. Um, maybe you shouldn't. Technically, I should be leaving right now. But I'll just show a little bit of this just so I can get copyright struck across everything with all the musics. Yeah, as soon as I played that trailer, I'm like, oh god, because now I'm going to have to dispute tons of copyright. Fun stuff. Good stuff. Very good. Um, but yeah, I focus a lot more on cybersecurity and user privacy and a lot of the fun little laws. To, uh, so the last couple videos um, are properly paranoid videos with the segment about the Russian-Ukrainian um, situation right now f from a cybersecurity standpoint. Um, I'm sure that it didn't notify you of any of those videos, but those are on my YouTube Dose Linux or Nixie Dose Linux channel. The one right now. Oop, hang on. Oh no, it's it's automatically playing it. Wait, guys. There we go. No, it's playing it. Hang on, it's playing it. I don't know how to get. Sh oh no, it started the game. This is horrible. Okay, well, we played some games. We trolled some people. We had a good time. Um, it might not work today. But it was really cool hanging out. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to get it to s share on another screen. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, you know what? Um, I can't be too late to the lug. I'm going to go to the Linux user group, um, but we will do this again. In fact, if you somewhere on the pay, one of the pages in the comments and whatnot should be the next live event that we're doing the GBF conference. Um, we are starting an open source conference uh, and we've already successfully completed it, <laughs> but we'd like to do one for summer because it was just so really well received. So um, we're going to do a little live brainstorming session, and I would love for each and every one of you to be a part of it, because I think it would be fun. Um, that's what we did the last time. Uh, we did a brainstorming session where everybody kind of just came up with their ideas, and that was that was awesome. Uh, so if you go to gbfest.org, there's also um, somewhere on this video, there should be a link to um, the next event that's that's next Thursday. So, um, and by that time I should be able to get a fully fledged Linux machine up and running that will run all the things. And, um, I still need to fix it because I basically installed a warped motherboard into my computer and it's been hard freezing. So that's that. What do you think? Yep. I just, I just checked it. And it looks like open source community. Yeah, hit the bell because it won't notify you if you don't hit the bell. But here it is. I'm going to post it one more time. Just for you. Whoops. And it kind of previews the previous. Uh, but I don't really like that trailer at all. Yeah, those NVIDIA drivers on Linux are rough. Um, open source. Oops. Open source brainstorm. Oops. Really messed up <laughs> the spelling of that, but there you are. Check out the open source brainstorm. Head over to our Discord. Um, yeah. Geek Beacon, gbfest.org. Thank you for that. Um, you guys are awesome. Oh, I have some I have some questions that I would love to answer them, but my time is I've gone way over time. I was just going to come in and kind of just be like, uh, hello, I am not a streamer, but streaming is a thing and I will I will do the thing. If you actually want to see I'm not terribly bad at it over on Twitch. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'll use this cross platform thing. I do think it's really cool to have like Twitch and YouTube all at once. Um, is it open source enough? Exactly. Like, is it open source enough? That is an excellent question. Um, but you guys can, yeah, head over to the Geek Beacon. Um, Bermain has posted it. 
And, um, yeah, it, it just depends on from a practicality standpoint, right? Like, yeah, we will, Raina, um, we will check on the status of everybody's account, if you will. But, yeah, thank you guys so much. I will talk nerdy to you soon, and there should be more videos. We're dropping two videos, one one on each channel. Um, this week, we're going to have a um, the user pan, uh, privacy panel, I think, drop on YouTube. So, yeah, just hit the bell. That would be awesome. Otherwise, if you don't set all notifications on, it's not going to notify you of any of the videos. And that's why a lot of your favorite creators have kind of like gone by the wayside. So yeah, miss you too. Much love. Talk nerd to you soon. Llama loves you. Happy llama. Sad llama. Confused llama. Manic depressive llama. Excellent. See you. See you in a few days live on Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Bye bye. Okay, Ronnie, we can talk about it. Message the admins. It was so good to see you too. Bye bye. <laughs>